One, two, three, four. Because you start settled. talking and I'm not settled yet. Oh, well, I just won't say anything. Okay, yet. so one thousand dollars, December third. Wait, Power I said bill. wait. Sorry, I was just testing the microphone. Oh, okay. Let me test it. One thousand dollars. We're giving it away. December third, Christmas in the Ville. Your chance to sign up to win a thousand dollars cash. Oh, yeah, this yeah. microphone's working pretty good. It does. Yeah. And all you have to do is stop by the Mike and John tent. You're right. That's right. December third. We'll that's a Saturday. It is. So a week from this Saturday. Is that right? I believe that's correct. No, yes. way. nope, nope. That's two weeks. A uh, two week. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, good. I'm glad you checked because today's we're... the 18th, and then, and then, and then, and then carry the two. Uh, right. Yeah, it's something okay. in there. But yeah, December third doesn't yeah. matter. Okay. Just if it's two weeks, one week, three days, December third. Right. Hey, it's Mike and John. Got it going on with Mike Marino and, and John, John King. King. Brought to you by Firehouse Doors. Yes. Uh, so last night you were at the uh, Ark Livingston's. Big celebrity fashion show. Fall fashion show. Yeah, yeah. It was the MC along with uh, JT, James Tyler Rogan. JTR. Um, actually, they uh, for the script they gave us, they they shortened it and they just put JT King. Oh, we're you were JT like, King? We were JT King together, like a celebrity ah, moniker. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, that was very nice. <laughs> Is he going to come in and do the podcast? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Do no, I don't think okay. so. But a uh, very funny guy. And, uh, yeah, it was a great night to help out Ark Livingston. Uh, lots of folks coming out and uh, having a good time and uh, getting to see uh, uh, all of the uh, Ark participants and families. And it was just a, a wonderful, wonderful evening. Great time for a great cause. And As they say. One of the, uh, the big sponsors was Cooper and Binkley Jewelers. Yes. Big supporter, giving away jewelry. And they're also bringing you local news with John King. Are they? It's Gigo News, brought to you by Cooper and Binkley Jewelers in downtown Brighton. What a coincidence. Hmm. Here's what's going on. A meeting will be held later this month to discuss the next stage of the US-23 Flex Route project. The Michigan Department of Transportation is inviting the public to attend a meeting on the proposed building and maintenance of traffic for phase two of the US-23 Flex Route project. MDOT representatives will be available for questions and answers. MDOT says the meeting is open to interested residents, commuters, community stakeholders, and local businesses. It'll be held from 5 till 8 p.m. Wednesday, November 30th at the Greenoak Township Hall. The existing US-23 flex lane between Warren Road and M36 is a median shoulder lane activated during peak travel times to reduce congestion. Through Phase 2, MDOT will extend the US-23 flex lane north to tie it into the I-96 interchange. The northbound US-23 flex lane will end just north of the Lee Road off-ramp and south of the Lee Road Bridge. The flex lane will then transition into an exit-only lane to westbound 96. You'll find more information on the MDOT website. That link is at mikeandjohnpodcast.com. An annual event Thursday helped kick off the holiday season while also honoring a local first responder who recently passed away. On Thursday, fire crews from across the county were invited to join the Salvation Army of Livingston County for the annual Blessing of the Bells, marking the organization's start of their holiday season fundraising efforts. Each year, departments from across the county compete to raise the most money throughout the holiday season for the Salvation Army by ringing the iconic bells at area retailers. This year, though, the departments will be competing for the Lieutenant Steve Moore Memorial Award, named in honor of the Howell firefighter who passed away in October after a more than a year-long battle with pancreatic cancer. The department which raises the most money throughout the bell ringing season the one will receive the trophy with their name engraved on it. And nine Parker Middle School vocal music students have been selected to be a part of the prestigious Michigan School Vocal Music Association State Honors Choirs as they perform at the opening ceremonies of the Michigan Music Conference held in January. There are three middle school state honor choirs that students can audition for and the students from Howells Parker Middle School were selected to participate in each of them following individual online auditions and a regional honors choir performance. After being selected for the state honors choir, 
Each student received the musical numbers they performed to allow them to rehearse at home and after school. The students will also attend three group rehearsals. The purpose of the Michigan Music Conference is to provide relevant professional development and vibrant musical experiences that support music education for educators and their students. And uh, you can learn more about the nine students who were chosen on our website, again, mikeandjohnpodcast.com. And that's what's going on. And speaking of musical instruments, that had to do with our trivia question from last night. That's true. We'll find out more about that after this from Cooper and Binkley Jewelers. Mark Binkley could barely drive a car when his dad bought the best jewelry store in town from Mr. Cooper. He spent a lot of time there after school and weekends, enough to know that he loved the jewelry business. Mark and his family were exiting a Sunday church service when Mark saw something more dazzling than any precious stone, Barb Lockery. Successful and beautiful was a combination too great to resist. And around Valentine's Day, a nervous and pale Mark Binkley asked Barb Lockery to be his bride. They were married in the rustic, cozy church sanctuary where they met and decided to build Cooper and Binkley Jewelers together. You'll see them there every day, working hard just like you, helping people make special times in their lives even more special with a gift from Cooper and Binkley. They'd love to hear your stories of romance at Cooper and Binkley Diamond Jewelers in lovely downtown Brighton. All right. Do you think your story of romance would make it into the storybook sure. thing like that? Sure. I think so. I mean, everyone's got a story. Yeah. It's just how you, how you pitch it. Yeah, I mean, it really is. It's, it, it kind of is. It's about marketing. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like, oh, that sounds so romantic. Right. I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, I I met my wife uh, at, you playing at, volleyball? at a volleyball game. Yeah, yeah look at so, you. So, I mean, that in and of itself, you're like, yeah. So. She's like, oh, he's like But Tom you could Cruise set it up. If, I, if we got that narrator yeah. to, like, set it let's, up. Let's look at it this yeah. way. Be like, here's Johnny King. He's just like Maverick and Top Gun. Exactly. He's uh, I spiking mean, the ball on the well, beach shirtless. Well, yeah. Riding his motorcycle yeah. back to Carolyn's place. Yeah, Carol's Look at all the women run yeah. as he takes off his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Mike proposing to his wife on a ride at Great America near oh, Chicago. Wow. He doesn't have a ring. He figures he'll ask anyway. If she says no, he doesn't have to return the ring. Very practical. That's very practical of you. It really was. Oh, the romance. <laughs> it took her a while to say yes, yeah, but, but she did. Okay, well, well right. sorry about your choices, right. ladies. <laughs> and where are they now? Yeah. Well, In a basement. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if they had a crystal ball, <laughs> they would be like, uh, you know, oh, I'm, uh, hey, it's nice meeting you and yeah. all, but... Uh, I've got to wash my hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last night in uh, in Thursday Night Trivia, TNT, brought to you by Tanya Zirkel with Sold by Tanya Z, whose motto is, comfort is the key to home. The question had to do with instruments, musical instruments, right. that is. According to research, this is the best-selling musical instrument. I don't know what it is. Now, a lot of answers probably took you back to third fourth grade, whatever it was, where you had to get the recorder. Yeah, oh God. Because that's every, almost a forced sale, isn't every it? Every parent. It's kind of, oh. It's every parent's nightmare. Uh, now, <clears throat> when I was a kid, this is how far back it was. It, we called it the song flute. Yeah, but then that. then they changed the name to the recorder. Right. And why it was a recorder, I don't know, because it, you really it, didn't it, want to record it. No, that. you didn't. Because um, no. it, <laughs> it, was, it was a flute. You know. <laughs> Well, but that was not our answer. No. Despite the fact that a lot of people guessed the recorder or song flute. Right. Uh, what was the first thing that came to mind for you? Uh, when you think I'll be it? honest with you, it was our answer. Oh, was it? I, I guys like, well, I wonder if it's that. And then I'm like, oh, well, look, it is. So, I had a feeling. Let's, uh, let's take a look at some of the answers. Then we'll yeah. reveal the right answer. The first one to get the right answer was Diane Neely, by the way. Uh, Diane Neely Duncan. Um, piano. <laughs> Somebody said... The, Maybe that would make the most money because they're the most expensive instruments. Or pretty darn expensive. Uh, kazoo. See, now that's a good cheap instrument, the kazoo. Could never play the darn thing, but... Um, drums was a pretty popular guess. Bongo drums. Right. Another bonds. One. Think of bonds. The bongos. bongos. <laughs> uh, guitar. Yeah. 
Uh, Madonna got fancy with the mandolin. Right. Somebody else said a uh, violin. Uh, Evan said a flugelhorn. <laughs> For all you Chuck Mangione fans. Uh, is, that, is that what Chuck played? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, tambourine? Now, now, if you said, who's the coolest tambourine player? Got to be Davy Jones, don't you think? Come on, go. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Tambourine Man. Uh, Cowbell, another great guest. Cowbell, popular right. music. Did you artist. mention Maracas? I did not. Oh, okay, yeah. Maracas was another one. Maracas. Was uh, yeah. You know, <laughs> that's one of those, like the tambourine that everyone, oh, I can play those. No, no you can't. No you, no. <laughs> no, you can't. See, the spoons, that would have been a good guess. Mm. My dad taught me how to play the spoons. Well, we right. really didn't, but uh, we tried to play the spoons. Uh, accordion. Yeah. Oh, there's a <laughs> yeah. So. And again, I I would uh, speaking of the accordion, I again highly recommend the uh, Weird Al biopic. Biopic with his accordion <laughs> on Roku. Very funny. <laughs> the accordion. Um, what else did I say? Oh, the xylophone. Mm. Now, when you think of that, didn't everybody when they were a kid have a xylophone that had a little cord you could pull it along? Yeah, with you? it was a xylophone right, right. on wheels. Right, right. You couldn't play it. For that crap. might. I don't know. Yeah, you know, really, when you think about it. Because we all kind of had one. Yeah. But uh, it did not. It was answer. not the answer. Right? The answer, John King's first thought, also Diane Neely, Duncan, the first one to I'm guess sure this. Um, oh, I am, because I saw it first thing last night. Okay, but if you got to put them in order. If you put them in order, I can see that. Well, anyway, Google's well, out. Well, well, Facebook's well, out of order. <laughs> It doesn't matter because uh, there's it, no prize. There's no prize. Yeah, so everybody's a everybody winner. Everybody, you're all winners. Get a harmonica participation award. That's it. Harmonica. Harmonica. Right. That's another instrument everyone thinks they can play, <laughs> and <laughs> they can't. all you do is just blow yeah, through the darn right, thing. But I mean, there is technique. To well, of course there is. I mean, there's no. great harmonica players out there, but uh, and really, you're not one of them. If <laughs> if you wanted to make people believe you were a good harmonica player. You had the strap thing that held it in front of you for you, so right. you didn't have to hold it. Well, if you do that like Bob Dylan, that's the first yeah. person that comes to mind. Neil Young would be another one who, yeah. you know, had that. But Old if, guys. If, yeah, well, yeah. Okay. But if you're doing that, the thing is, is that you can't hold, you know, hold the holes, you know, so you're just blowing in and out of the right. thing. That's a whole different, I think, talent to be able to make that sound good without being able to manipulate the, manipulate the holes. <laughs> One must learn how yes, to manipulate the holes yeah. to be a good harmonica player. At least. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. how, how do you practice? <laughs> well. <laughs> Manipulating the holes well, you know, on the harmonica you know. jet. What are you doing in there? I'm <laughs> practicing my harmonica. Manipulating the Mom, holes. I'm manipulating the holes. <laughs> okay. Grow up a little bit. Now, why start now? <laughs> We need we need a morning we need we we need a, a podcast harmonica. No, we don't. <laughs> God no. Wait a minute. When Cougar comes in yeah. on Mondays, we could accompany her. Okay. On the yeah. recorder um, and and uh, oh, we just got an email from Cougar. She's not coming in Monday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Trivia brought to you by Tanya Z. Sold by Tanya Z. Of course, Tanya Zirkel. Comfort. It's the key to home. You can find her online at soldbytanyaz.com. Sold by Tanya Z. Well, good morning. Yes, good morning, Bonnie Runyon. Are we all enjoying this beautiful white stuff out our window? Oh, Mike was really. Oh, yeah. He drove in this morning, and he was just thrilled when he I, came in. I think there's some um, some snow deniers in the Livingston <laughs> County Road Department. <laughs> <laughs> the Road Commission is denying that there's snow. No, there's not. There's not snow. No, there's no snow. There's no ice on the road. Recount. It's not slick. <laughs> but other than that, it looks nice. Yeah. It's it really does fluffy. Look beautiful. Yeah, a couple and, a couple know, inches. I think we're blessed where we live because I've heard, you know, up by Jackson and that vicinity, there's a lot more either there or coming or something. Well, forget them. Just yeah. go to Buffalo where they're going to get about four feet and they had to move the football game to Detroit. You know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's not often that they move things to Detroit to keep them safe. <laughs> so that says something. Yeah. <laughs> So how did how did the uh, the the market go last week? It went very well. It was very nice. A good flow of nice people. Just really, and the uh, all the vendors. Well, we had the time. Well, that's good. And and did anybody ask about John? No. No. Why, no. why would they be asking? Well, about I don't know. Him? You know, they just say, "Hey, you know John King." What about just, Mike and John? Yeah. Did they ask about Mike and John? <laughs> no. Nope. Did they ask about Mike? Nope. nope. Okay. Did, did, they, did, they didn't even ask 
about me. So did they me. did they ask any words that have M or J <laughs> in them? <laughs> I think I heard a Merry Christmas. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, well, there, well, they, yeah, there's yeah, at least yeah. an M in there. Okay. All right. So so what else is going on, Bonnie? What else is going on? Well, I need my oil changed. I have a slow leak hmm. and a tire. You know, so that would be a good time to go to our friends at Murphy's Family Auto. I mean, honestly, Bonnie, you, know, you, know, you, you get really, the Mike and John uh, 5% discount if you tell them we sent you. Right. You know, Family Auto. you know, since 2011, Murphy's Family Auto has been specializing in car and truck care. I don't know if you knew that, Bonnie. Possibly, you know, some leaks. Yeah. They could take care of those oil leaks. Right. Whether it's uh, engine, transmission work, electrical services, heating and cooling, brakes, the whole shebang. They'll take yes. care of it. And they are awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And it, if you stop in, like, they're open Saturdays 8 to 1, Bonnie, and if you stop in and say Mike and John sent you, you'll save 5% off your bill. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's what I heard. Yeah. You know what? And I know they do that, and I know they're wonderful, but I so appreciate what they do. That, yeah, Dennis Murphy. Yeah. Boy, Good guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Forget the five percent. They earned every cent that they got coming. Yes, they do. They're 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 great folks over there, and of course you can check them out online, murphysfamilyauto.com. Yeah. And we call them Two N Den. If you go over there, Two N Den for Dennis, stop by and <laughs> tell them we said hi. So any so you got to get the the vehicle fixed. What else is happening? You you're all ready for the holidays? Getting there for Thanksgiving? I've got to buy oranges and apples today so I can make my cranberry relish. Yeah. Now, are you you're making that for Thanksgiving? Yes. Okay. Doesn't cranberry have cranberry in it? Well, I've already got that. Oh, I okay. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. then you add the oranges and the apples. That's like a secret recipe right there. Now, no, no, oh. no, it's not. Oh. Okay. <laughs> now, do you use fresh cranberries or do you use the canned oh, yes. stuff? Fresh cranberries. Oh, okay. Cranberries used to come in pound packages. Yeah. And the recipe called for three cranberries, three apples, three oranges, and sugar. I don't remember the amount of the sugar. Yeah. But now, cranberries come in 12-ounce packages. So you so got to buy an, an extra half. Right. So No, so now it's four cranberries. Oh, apples. four cranberries. Okay, yeah, yeah, doing that. <laughs> That's why I have to make a triple batch, though. There's going to be a lot of cranberry sauce at the Runyon Estate. Well, it'll be in the freezer for Christmas, too. Okay. All right. Well, you know, uh, next next Friday we're we're off, right? So we won't talk to you for a couple weeks. So we hope Thanksgiving is nice, and uh, and and we'll check back in with we, you. We hope you really relish time with your uh, family and friends. Really, really, over and above and beyond blessed. Okay, are you guys going to warm weather? Are you going to be in the parade and how? What's happening, guys? Um, what, what are we doing? Um, we're just gonna we're gonna hang out, lay around on the couch, uh, and watch TV. Actually, we uh, we've got to work off some of our uh, public time. We'll be on. You'll yeah. see us on the side of the road. We'll be in the orange jumpsuits, picking up garbage. <laughs> yeah. um, it's, it's part of our yeah. sentence. But uh, no, we're just gonna be enjoying our time. <laughs> yeah, well, there's many that would try. All right. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna take a, an extra day. Yeah. For the after Thanksgiving and and be back on Monday. Yeah. All right. Well, you have a very happy and merry Thanksgiving. You too, guys. All right, Thank Bonnie. Here. Thanks, Take Bonnie. Care. All right, Bonnie uh -huh. Vernon with words bye -bye. of wisdom and, uh, and a relish recipe, a cranberry relish recipe to boot. But she didn't give us the recipe. Well, she kind of did. Well, oh, I guess she did. You're right. No, it's, it's sugar right. and uh, the fruits, apples and, and oranges. Just and mix it all together and, you know, yeah. and mash it up. And who knows what you're going to have after that. We're going to have cranberry rounds. You are. You know what else we're going to have? December 3rd, we're giving away $1,000 uh, cash. I, I, I hadn't heard that. It's cash for Christmas wow. with Mike and John at the Christmas in the Ville parade extravaganza. Of course, we're going to be there helping Steve MC the big parade. And we'll have our tent set up with the soon-to-be-gotten hopper. Yes. Is that today that you're getting that? That's the plan. That's the plan. If I can make it through the roads in the okay. snow, I'm going to travel <laughs> yeah. far and wide to get the hopper. Through snow and rain and sleet and gloom, yes. gloom of night. I will get there. I've got will the not huskies lined up for my Deter sled. Mike from his appointed rounds of picking up the hopper. Yes. By which you could win $1,000. That's right. Right. For if it were not for the hopper, <laughs> the money would not be able to be given away. Right. <laughs> and, and your Christmas shopping yes. would come to a stopper. 
<laughs> the, oh, <laughs> it's the quest that for the hopper that that's right. happening this weekend. <laughs> no, okay. But you're really on a roll, buddy. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, and again, December 3rd at downtown Fowlerville. Yeah. Stop by the Mike and John tent. You can sign up there. That's the only place you can register right. to win our $1,000. Must be 18 or over to win. One entry per household. Yeah. And we will draw out that winner. Or is it per person? Well, it's per household. Oh, per household. So husband and wife, yeah. Yeah. just one entry yeah. for both. They got to say that. Uh, it's not like we're going to be running, you know, background checks on people, uh, but don't say that. Well, that's good because I got too much to do with the I'll, hopper. I'll edit all that. this out. Okay. <laughs> Take care of that. Don't worry about it. Post-production. <laughs> That'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, December 3rd. All right. So uh, that's coming up on uh, December 3rd. We're going to be there. That should be a lot of fun. Other holiday happenings throughout the, uh, the month going on. But, um, you know, speaking of Thanksgiving. We were? Yes, we were. Well, we were. Yes, we were. Weren't we? Yes. Yeah. We should be thankful to our friends at Firehouse Door. <laughs> oh, okay. We're That's thankful. not where I was going, but yeah, we are thankful. <laughs> That's okay. We can be thankful. Hang with me on this one. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, we're thankful. <laughs> Two different stores. directions. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. Sometimes there's a fork in the road well, and you got to meet you know, in the You go left, I go right. And here yeah. we are. Firehouse Doors, our OG sponsor here on Mike and John. And we are thankful for that because they, they've been behind us from uh, day one, pretty much day one. And they've been behind you and helping you out for over 24 years. Here Almost 25 now. years. That's right. Nearly 25 A years. smidge away from 25. That's right. Family owned and operated business. Mike Wade, a proud U.S. Air Force veteran. Firehouse Stores, your one-stop shop for residential, commercial, and rolling steel overhead doors. That's right. Matter of fact, those are your R sods. The rolling steel it, overhead. Door. I remember. That's I know the technical that. The language. R sods in the biz. They call it the R sod. Hey, get the old R sod. Get the R sod out there. Load that up. We got to take it over to the guy that needs right. an R sod. Suddenly, Cliff Clavin works at Firehouse Doors. <laughs> <laughs> They're your only authorized. Dealer for CHI Overhead Doors. Call Firehouse Doors today. 810-599-7480. Yeah. All right. So thank you for Firehouse Doors. Uh, so you were speaking of Thanksgiving. I was, and I uh, just got an email this morning. Uh, we did. This just in. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yes. Uh, Governor Whitmer has urged Michiganders to submit names for the first turkey that she will pardon since taking office. The she, winning name will be announced She's Monday. She's been in office that long and is not pardoned the turkey? I agree. She says, my fellow Michiganders, Thanksgiving is just around the corner, said Governor Whitmer. I know we are looking forward to spending some time with family and friends, but I need your help. Help is needed by the governor. Please submit name suggestions for the very special turkey that I will pardon soon. Everyone, especially young Michiganders, are encouraged to send in their names. I am thankful for you all. Now, so, does everybody have a turkey name? Well, it says there's no limit to the number of suggestions you can make. It says get creative and have fun. All right. The winning number, uh, n winning name will be announced Monday. And uh, I'm having a feeling that the people that work for the governor that have to sift through these suggestions, good luck to you. Huh. Can we submit one yeah, right let's now? See, yeah, so I'll click I'd the like link. to name our turkey Jive. Okay. <laughs> Okay, turkey name, <laughs> Jive. Jive. All right. So I think Jive Turkey should be, <laughs> should be pardoned. Okay. <laughs> Mike and John got right. going on. Uh, yes. And our turkey's name is Jive. I don't think a lot of people have named their turkeys Jive. I, I don't. Not since the 70s. You know, anyway. honestly, I think, I, I think it's this an is original. It. I think this is it. Because a lot of people say Tom. I mean, that's all, that's the only turkey name we know, isn't it? I mean, I think it's a great name. Yeah. I think you, you, wow. you've hit on I mean, it. Have I uh, gone above and beyond? Yeah. Um, now, it asks us grade in school, if applicable. <laughs> um, so, well, my like, favorite was probably yeah. eighth grade. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'd say uh, 11th was mm -hmm. a good, good grade. Um, just put grade in school, C minus. <laughs> <laughs> that was our average. C minus. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> what else? What else do we need to that, That's it. it. Mike and John for the win at right. gmail.com. Yeah. And I'm sure we're going to get on some <laughs> list. Yeah. We're probably going to be blocked. <laughs> so, I'm going to get, you know. Okay. There we go. Jive, so, jive turkey. <laughs> it should be pardoned. Excellent. Good, good job. So, see, this is the thing. If you name a turkey, and then you're sitting at dinner, and you're cutting into jive, <laughs> and you're saying, "This, 
I, I don't want to get that personal. With no, that I mean, you don't really don't want it. You Once know. you name an animal, I think it's more difficult to, you know, It kind of is. Off it. You know? <laughs> Yeah, you know. So. All right, so so we got that. Yeah, the, the governor has thanked us for taking the survey. All right, yeah. you're welcome, governor. You're We're welcome. welcome. Okay. <laughs> this is, this is what's important right yeah. now. Well, yeah, you know, okay. You got to work on that. All right, uh, it's time for our two cent history lesson. Or are we calling Rhonda first? I missed that part of rehearsal. We should probably call Rhonda. Let's call. Then we'll wrap up with the two cent history. All right, lesson. that sounds like a good yeah. idea, John. I think good thing you thought of. Well, that. I'm glad I did. Uh, I mean, you know, <laughs> somebody had to think of it. Uh, Somewhere. Some way, yeah. somebody had to come up with the plan. What would you do with the, uh, with what? With our uh, our good friends at, uh, what do you want? Yeah, that, this okay. one. You didn't do that one. I didn't do that. No. Of course This I is the time that. to do it. This is the natural segue. You can see how so smooth this is going. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm talking about Richter and Associates Property Management. Licensed real estate brokers, rental property experts in Livingston, Genesee, and Oakland counties. 40 plus years in the business. Yes. They're located in downtown Howell, but you can find them online. Did you know that? Yeah, you don't have to go out in the snow. No, you don't. You go to richterassoc.com. That's right. That's R-I-C-H-T-E-R-A-S-S-O-C.com. Or you can call them, 517-540-9560. Richter & Associates Property Management. Whew. All right. Good thing I got that stuff covered. <laughs> Somebody. Taking care of the business, they yeah, say. You took care of that, and you named our turkey Jive. <laughs> it's a very productive day for you. <laughs> you know... This stuff just, <laughs> it's its in there somewhere. Yeah. It just bounces around. Yeah, it it's kind of like <laughs> Donald Duck and Mathematic Land. <laughs> There's a reference. Hello. Hey, Rhonda, how's it going? It's going. How are you guys doing? Good. It sounds like we caught you in the middle of something. Um, I'm just driving to work. Oh, <laughs> well, that is something. Two hands on the uh, wheel. Yeah, are you, are you able to drive safely and talk? Yeah, I am. Okay, good. All right. I am. I'm hands-free. Uh, how are the roads? Hands-free. Oh, uh, yeah, on the phone. Right, okay. Exactly. Yeah, hands uh, on the yeah. wheel. Right. <laughs> okay. Sourville, they're terrible. How yeah, they're the they're, they're same. Yeah. So. so. Oh, okay. All right. So a couple of inches of snow, and 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 are you having market day tomorrow? We are having All market right. day. That's the plan. All right. So. That is the plan. So. Is Victoria make, making some of those good cookies? No. No. Uh, All right. So what's uh, what's going on for Market Day tomorrow? So for Market Day, we have actually we've got something new. We've got somebody who teaches some felting classes, and she's coming and they're making these cute um, felt ornaments. So she's going to actually teach a class during Market Day. Oh, oh nice. Pretty cool. And then we have, um, if people are looking for some really beautiful leaves and Christmas crafts, we do have a vendor who comes and she makes some amazing things. They're really, really pretty, and her prices are very reasonable. So unique so, gifts and, you know, and ideas for the holidays. That's great. Decorations, yeah, yeah. And so it's a good. It'll be a good opportunity to do that. And then, of course, you know, torch food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's on the menu for tomorrow? Um, we actually are doing our regular menu except for our paninis. So we'll have the, the hamburgers, the torch burgers, the olive burgers. Uh, we've got a caramelized onion burger that we're doing now, and mostly what we tend to sell on Saturdays, which is interesting, is sweet potato fries. <laughs> we get a lot of people who come in just for those. You know, the thing about sweet potato fries is uh, they're either really good or they're just not good at all. That's been my experience. <laughs> when you try them on menus, you go to different restaurants, you're like, oh, yeah, that looks good. And then you're like, these are not good. But I have a feeling Definitely. that yours are on the very good. If they're in high yeah. demand, they have yeah. to be yeah. good. You know, as a as a people, we like to dip. <laughs> I know. I know. It's like, it's like, I know. Why do you think dipping first yeah. started? You really wonder, like, you what know? was the first society or culture that came up with dipping? Yeah. I mean, what, did cavemen dip? <laughs> <laughs> and and what did they use? What did they dip? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> so, there has to be a history of dip somewhere, a dip <laughs> museum. A dip museum. That, <laughs> that might not be the museum you think it is. <laughs> yeah, that may be yeah. chew dip. Yeah. You know, right, right. right. well, it's right. Kind of yeah. tobacco chew. Yeah. Yeah. Or just a little piece between my cheek and gums. History of dips. <laughs> Sorry. We're looking what, into it. How did you take us down this rabbit hole? <laughs> you know what? I don't know. But I do know that the thing about dips is that um, they're really good for the taste. And they're really good for the flavor. Yeah. And they're a great way to use a few ingredients to experiment with flavor. 
like yeah. we do a lot with our students and so we're not throwing away tons of stuff if it's like horrible which we've made some pretty horrible stuff yeah. over the years stuff like that can happen you're like we got to use this stuff up throw it in the dip <gasps> <laughs> So, yeah, we do that too. <laughs> yeah, so I've done a little research here yeah. into the history of dips. And believe it or not, there is a history. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it uh, comes from the, the word dip actually is a derived verb of douchban from hey. the old English dip on, which originally meant quite specifically immerse with a reference to baptism. All right. Well, you dip the kid in the water. Yeah, right. And so that's and where the word came food. from. And apparently, one of the first, at least European dips, was French onion. In the seventeenth yeah. century. Look at that. We so, learned a little something wow. here. Very little. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. French onion dip is really good though. It so. is, yeah. yeah. So now I now I wanna now I know now I want a French dip sandwich. What did a cool ranch dip? come along? I yeah. Think. All right, anyway. <laughs> okay. People well, at Hidden Valley created that stuff. That's true. All right. So uh market tomorrow at ten thirty? Oh, oh our right. Partners, our, you know, our, our neighbors. Right. Our very good neighbors. And so, yeah, so we're going to just stay open with our regular menu um, until 8 o'clock tonight. Any, well, any uh, venison? Yes, venison, is, <laughs> venison burger tomorrow? or? Uh... Yeah, no. No. Nope. Okay. Yeah, right. No, we don't offer that. Not you yet. Know, the, law, the house food laws around Serving Wild Game are trickier. Right. And I think that I often feel like I'm at my max just with the bare minimum that we're doing. Yeah, no, understandable. <laughs> We're, we're, yeah, we were just being idiots, yeah. but you should know that I by know now. You were. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, okay. So open till eight o'clock Friday night. That's tonight uh, at Torch One Eighty for the uh, Buck Pole in Fowlerville, and then tomorrow ten thirty to two. To one thirty. Oh, ten to one thirty. Oh, ten to one thirty. Okay. Okay. Excellent. All right, All right. now. Yeah. All right, gonna draw this out. I've drawn a winner for lunch for two. At Torch 180, and that winner is. Congratulations to Megan McCauley. Megan McCauley. Yeah, Megan McCauley. <laughs> She's a former student. Oh, yeah. wow. Good for her. All right. Well, congratulations, yeah. Megan. All right. Megan Great. and a friend will be uh, revisiting the uh, Torch 180 and getting uh, some, some lunch. So, congratulations awesome. to Megan. Keep up the great work, Rhonda. Have a, uh, a great Thanksgiving. We won't talk to you next week. We'll, we'll do it again in two weeks because we're off on Friday. Sounds wonderful, you guys. All Have right. a great Thanksgiving. All right, you too. you too. All right, Rhonda Callahan Bye. from Torch and uh, Torch 180. Always doing some great work there. Uh, the Two Cent History Lesson for today, today, November 18th. It's Mickey Mouse Day. M-I-C. Okay. <laughs> See you real soon. Okay. Yeah, Mickey Mouse Day. It's also National Vichyssoise Day. Vichyssoise. 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 He spoke French. Yes, I did. Yeah. Pepe Le Pew. What is it? You don't even know what Vichyssoise well, is. Well, I can tell you what oh, it is. It's good. a soup made from pureed leeks, onions, mm. potatoes, cream, and chicken stock. I was out with leeks. And, I was out. At that point. <laughs> generally <laughs> served yeah. cold. Yeah. It's a cold soup. Vichyssoise. Yeah, Vichyssoise. Vichyssoise. Yes. We gave it a fancy name because it's cold. Because it tastes like crap. Because we're too lazy to heat it up for you. We don't you. have to heat the soup. <laughs> we don't have a cold. microwave. It's leftovers. All right. And our two cent history lesson is brought to you by Jugobel. Jugobel? Jugobel. He's from Oakland Insurance. Yes. And <laughs> Michigan based Franco Move Insurance. <laughs> they provide the peace of mind you need. <laughs> <laughs> they believe the best relationships are honest up front and fair. If you want to get frank about insurance, you call Jugo Bell. Have some soup with And Jugo. Oakland Insurance today. <laughs> this is what? That's 248-647-2500. We really oh, are. we're just, just in from Drew. <laughs> I'm pulling my sponsorship. <laughs> yeah. We really are in. All right. All right. <laughs> today, it was on this day, the November 18th in 1307, William Tell shot an arrow through an apple on his son's head. You know, I... I feel like there's something untold about this story. I, son, go stand over there. Yeah, now put this apple <laughs> on your head. But dad, why am I putting this apple on my head? I, I don't, don't know if he was just, blindfolded or not. Just, uh, I would assume so. Trust your dad. Yeah. It's okay. I got it. However, in 1307, it does not say if William hit the apple or not. Hmm. I guess he shot it through. Yeah. 
the apple. I, that's the story, I thought. I, didn't I wonder know. how big that apple was. The sun, a you know, different story. Not one to be telling the kids. The sun, after the shoot, went home and <laughs> changed his pants. <laughs> and told mom, <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Dad made me put an apple on my head. Again? 1805. <laughs> Explorers Lewis and Clark reached the Pacific Ocean. Oh. They had cake. <laughs> did by the ocean. I don't think they did. I don't know if they did. Yeah. It's on this day in 1928, Steamboat Willie, the very first Mickey Mouse cartoon, premiered at the Colony Theater in New York. It was the first animated talking picture ever shown. How about that on Mickey Mouse Day? They did that. Good timing. Yeah. You Steamboat that Willie. Yeah. 1956, Fats Domino appeared on the Ed Sullivan Show where he performed Blueberry Hill. Mm. Richie Cunningham saw the show and would sing that song during the Happy Days episodes when he and Lori Beth right. would go find their thrill. Wow. What was that? That was post Jump the Shark. No, that was pre-jump the show. You think it was? Yeah, and when Lori Beth showed up, oh, though. I don't know. Maybe he was singing it before, yeah. and she just kind of fell into the Blueberry Hill thing. <laughs> Did he really find a thrill on Blueberry Hill? No, That's what I want to know. Lori Beth. <laughs> 1963. We talked about the uh, push-button phone, but the uh, pr first push-button telephones went into service in Pennsylvania in 1963. This was just earlier this week that they... Were invented? Were, were invented. Yeah. Probably prior to that. I think I think it was like '62 they were invented, and then they went into uh, service. Here we are. Here yeah. we go. See, watch out. Yep, that's how we roll here. Billy Joel in 1978 went to number one on the U.S. album chart with 52nd Street. It was his first U.S. number one album. I think Big Shot was on that one. 52nd Street. Mm. Maybe. Um, well, let's see. It was 1978. It also had to have on there. Um, the theme from uh, Bosom Buddies, My Life. Am I right on that? Uh, we're going to look right here. Yes, My, my Life was saying. on there. Big Shot was on there. Was Only the Good Day Young on that one, too? That was not. Okay, that no. was the next album. Come out, Virginia. 1993, Nirvana recorded their MTV Unplug special on this day. The unplugging went nuts. Uh, unplugging was... Yeah. And then it was like a couple you know of years of that unplugging Put stuff. Put a plug in Didn't it, Didn't okay? it all start with Rod Stewart, the unplugged stuff? I thought it was or Eric was Clapton. Clapton. Yeah, I thought it was Eric Clapton. And it was like, before yeah. you knew it, everything was unplugged. Yeah. And you're like, and, like, and then... it's crap in, will you? And then they were having unplugged sessions, and you're like, but that looks like it's plugged in. Yeah. There was <laughs> you know, more like, taking it. would be like, Bon Jovi unplugged, and you're like, but they... That's not Didn't an they have acoustic. to yell into the microphone I, <laughs> I'm like, I don't understand. What are you... Okay. You know what? Maybe we'll do this show unplugged one of these days. <laughs> Some people say that we should. Yeah, <laughs> unplug this. <laughs> 2001, Britney Spears scored her second U.S. number one album with Britney. Was only the good Die Young on that one? Or? No, I don't think oh. so. With uh, with that one, maybe it's Oops, I Did It Again. We're going to research that. Yeah. Oh, we're oh look at those okay. pictures. Yeah. Well, I'm researching. Whoa, hey, no. I am researching. Um. It was from mm, Britney. The album no, Britney. she she did I Love Rock and Roll. No. no. Not on that album. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that what was that was. That. Well, she obviously yeah. did a remake. Well, nobody heard I'm that one. Um, yeah, I don't see. None of these were, uh, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. All right. <laughs> she hit number one with it. I better do more research. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oops, I, I did it again as actually, that came out the year before. Uh, that was the name of that album. Oh, called, Oops, okay. I did it. And finally, 2004, Britain outlawed fox hunting in England and Wales. What the heck did the royals do for fun then? Well, you know. There'll be no fox hunting. Kicked the peasants. <laughs> it's time for kicking the peasants. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> Kick them into the hide. It's good to be king. <laughs> oh, they play chess. Yeah. <laughs> Night. <laughs> Never mind. That's your two cent history lesson brought to you by Open Insurance. Right, right. Call Drew Goble today, 248 647 2500. Mm. 2500. That's 2500. Right. 2500. All right, that's our two cent history lesson. Coming up on Monday, Cougar's going to be here. 
I'm bringing a harmonica. Okay. There's your little Britney break. <laughs> I'm bringing Sorry. a harmonica. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> She's about 40 now, right? 40 something, yeah. Yeah, all right. That's your two cent history lesson for today. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's kind of history. You know, look, we've talked about the history of dips. Yes, that's very informative. Yeah. Give me some Billy Joel album information. True that. Yeah. And we learned a little bit more about Britney Spears. Yeah. What a productive show this is. It really has <laughs> been, John. Yeah. All right, so for those that have not signed up for the Mike and John Gigo newsletter, it's a daily newsletter whenever there's news that we report here on the uh, podcast, right. or even sometimes when we just post it online. Yeah. You can subscribe to the Mike and John newsletter. That's right, and you get the news right in your email inbox. Could be in your junk or spam mail right. to start. <laughs> Once you start clicking on it, it'll show up in the, the regular yeah. There's a box. But you sign up for free. Yes. And starting Monday, do tell. I'm not gonna tell. You're not gonna tell? Just saying Monday. Something big starts Monday. Something big. Hmm. Wow, kind of a lot of big stuff. Kind of connected week. to the news. I almost so we'll have more details. I on almost this. feel like we overworked this week because we've had so many big things, like with the cash. <sighs> yeah, and in cash. What what cash? Oh, did have I you, forget about the cash? Yeah, what what are you talking about? The thousand dollars we're going to give. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Wow. Where are we doing that? <laughs> well, we'll do the drawing here. Right. But to qualify and to register, you just yeah. stop by the Mike and John booth. At Christmas in the Ville, December 3rd in Fowlerville. That's right. And you can win that thousand dollars cash. That's right. But starting Monday. Christmas cash. Spend it however you want. Buy yourself a nice gift. Mike and John Podcast What's what's going There'll on? There'll be more winning. Wow. Yeah. And don't forget, by the way, don't forget. We're gonna drop for another one hundred dollar Visa gift card courtesy of Firehouse Tours. Even more? Yeah. What the heck are we doing? We'll man? do that on Monday the twenty eighth once we return. That's another Monday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. We're gonna be all over the place. Yeah, we are. Just giving stuff away out here, blowing out like the doors. A, like a fish. <laughs> Swimming left, right? Yeah. Zigging, zagging, giving away money. That's crazy for a little podcast like this. I know. You know, let's take the weekend off and come back on Monday and start it all over again. What do you think? Ah, we have to do it again. <laughs> Oops. I did it again. <laughs> okay. uh, just, 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 please stop. <laughs> Subscribe to YouTube, the Mike and John YouTube channel. That's right. Why not? That's another way you could win. Oops, did I say that what again? Whoop, huh? Shut up. I'm shutting up. Shut up, shut up. All right. Got to go. Cougar, take us out. Mike and John got it going on. You've been giggling. With Mike and John. Tune in next time and giggle on. All right. Post show for today. Here we are. We have a couple of inches of snow here in Livingston County. Right. Looks really nice. It, it may does. get you into the, the holiday spirit if you're not yet. And experts are saying. Well, you know how experts are. And these are people that are experts in whatever. They just are experts. We well, didn't really get into that job since we named our turkey jive and got C minuses <laughs> as our grade point average. <laughs> uh, experts say decorating your home for Christmas early can make you a happier person. According to a study published in the Journal of Environmental Psychology, I was just reading that the other day. That's where I got I this know. info. I love the centerfold. Decking the halls <laughs> early is a spirit booster because it tends to trigger pleasant childhood memories. Sure. Makes folks feel more social. Hey, did you see Bob's Christmas decorations? He really went all out. Yeah. All right, all Clark. How about... <laughs> How about Jerry over there? Yeah. Looks like he hired a company and paid three thousand well, dollars for them to come you out know and how Jerry the is. home. He's got to try and outdo everybody without right. doing any work. And then he got he Frank, who still has his Christmas stuff from last year, yeah. and finally mm -hmm. came back around. It does help people interact a little bit more with their neighbors because well, then you sure. can say, "Hey, that's a nice Christmas display." Right. Thanks for making me look bad. Yeah, that's kind of how I <laughs> Jerry. 
Three thousand dollars, Jerry. Yeah, really, I got the string of lights in the front of my garage, and you got this <laughs> menagerie going you know, on over here. You ever have that neighbor that has, like they put them up, but then starts to droop, uh, and and droop they don't fix yeah, it, right? <laughs> You know, like, well, then you get the neighbor notice? that has the the peeing Santa Claus. Yeah, there's, there's <laughs> like, always that. Oh, guy. that's the lovely season. Thank you. That's just great. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. Or, or the deers and yeah. the compromising positions. What? Yes. Yeah. It's like that's that guy. You do know this is supposed to be for kids, right? <laughs> yes. You got that right. <laughs> Look at Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> His nose is really lit up. 